have these neighbors, their kids always walking their dog. And for some reason, the kids will always bring the dog to my grass and allow the dog to poop on my grass without pick, picking up the dog poop. I confronted them several times about their kids bringing the dog to my yard and allowing the dog to poop on my yard without picking up the poop. I thought she was going to, you know, advise her kids and get them to stop doing that. I'm, my thinking was that she did. But maybe her kids were trying to be disrespectful and funny about bringing the dog back to my yard and allowing the dog to poop on my grass without picking up the poop. So therefore, me being me, I had to come up with another measure to make this stop. What I did was I went and got me a camera and set it up so that I can record this whole thing happen. Because what I was about to do, I needed proof to show that it was her kids bringing the dog on my lawn and allowing the dog to poop on my grass, leaving it there without picking it up. Sure enough, they came. Had I had the camera rolling, sure enough, they came, and I had it on camera. So what I did was I grabbed me a pair of gloves and these brown envelopes that got the bubble lining in it. I went outside. I scooped that dog poop. I put it in the envelope. I look around. Any other dog poop I found, I put it in the envelope as well. I went inside, sealed it, addressed it to her. I even put my address at the re as the return address so she can know that I'm sick and tired of her kids bringing the dog on my grass and allowing the dog to poop in my yard. I put a nice envelope on it. I stuck it in her, her mailbox. The next day, she collected her, um, her mail, went inside. She didn't even look in the envelope apparently she just stuck her hand in there and she stuck her hand right in the dog poop she came outside screaming did you do this did you do this i said you see my name on the return address right yes i did it i'm sick and tired of you allowing your kids to bring your dog on my lawn and have your dog poop on my grass every time my kids go outside to go play they track your dog poop back in my house i don't even have a dog i can I, I i don't have patience to be buying all that stuff vet bills and all that doggy clothes and doggy bed and training a dog to poop outside if not carry it to a doggy sitter no i don't have time for that i don't have any pets okay you don't know the person that allow your kids to be bringing dog on other people's property to allow the dog to poop yet so if you if your kids can't listen to you then you need to walk your dog other than that, I will always return your dog poop to you in so many different ways. You wouldn't even know. So if you don't want to be sticking your hand in your dog poop, you need to tell your kids to keep your dog in your yard and have the dog poop in your yard. This is so disgusting. This is cold and this is evil. I say, you don't think what your kids doing to me is evil? You don't think you... you, you Come, come inside. Let me show you your dog poop stain on my carpet. You should ask. I should be taking you to court because I've been paying. I've paid a couple of times for these people to come and clean your dog poop off my carpet, huh? You should be. You should be calling standing steamer right now to come and clean my carpet because your dog poop stain is on my carpet. Okay, all you gotta do is go wash your hands, and the dog poop will be off your hands. But your dog, your dog poop is on the bottom of certain certain shoes my children have. And it's sitting in the backyard. You should go see it right now. So if you really feel bad about your dog poop being on your hand, just think about how I feel about your dog poop being on my carpet in my house. Get out of my yard before I call the police.